In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four steps, step one to step four, and I've added uh, four different icons uh, with some uh, different colors. So how this works, when I click, the step one will move towards the left and the icon towards the right, and then the information comes in the center. So let me just click. So you can see here, it moves towards uh, the left and the right and then the step two with a different color step three and step four likewise i have created one more slide uh, without the animation effect and if you have not subscribed to my channel please uh, subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Right mouse click, go to format background. Under fill, I'm going to choose any dark color here. Then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to select the first one. Draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline. And shape fill, make it white and then i'm going to cut this one here go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and select both of these go to align and align middle then i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape i'm going to subtract it all right then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate bring to the other side rotate and make it flip horizontal all right and make sure that both are aligned properly aligned top okay then go to insert shape add one more rectangle draw a rectangle here it should look like our kind of a belt which is coming out from this uh, buckle shape outline you can make it no outline and i'm going to give some gradient fill for this so here i'm going to use four stops so one stop this stop and the end these two stops you need to give some darker color and in between you can give a lighter color and direction you need to choose either of these either linear right or linear left whichever way you feel better you can just add it and make sure that it is properly aligned okay so once this is done you can go to insert text box and you can add the number so i'm just going to type zero one center align give maybe a black and increase the size make it bold and put it here and if you want to change the size you can other color you can give some different color also and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go and insert the icons onto this area then i'm going to add some title here your title here center align make it bold reduce the size maybe to 14 all right and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here add detail text here center align reduce the font size to 12 and maybe you can use white or black let it be black only and then place it here exactly in the center and then i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to give a shadow effect here all right and for this also i'm going to give the shadow effect all right so once this is done i'm going to select all and before doing that one i need to group this one okay i'm going to select both of these and group it and this also the text and the yellow belt press ctrl g to group it so now i'm going to group all bring it somewhat up and hold the ctrl shift key together and this is my second option this is my third option and this is my fourth option so i'm just going to change the number to two this is three and this is four now depending on your requirement you can change the color also of this belt so let me just select all of this and right mouse click i am going to ungroup it all right so it's all ungrouped now 
Now let's add the animation part. Close the format background, go to the animations, enable the animation pane and I'm going to view, enable the guide. So what I'm going to do, this four, I'm going to select by holding the shift key and bring this closer, something like this, okay? Just bring it very much closer and this four also I'm going to choose and I'm going to bring this closer something like this you can see here all right now i'm going to select the first one okay go to the animations add animation i'm going to go to more motion path scroll it down and i'm going to choose left left click okay and make sure that when i click here it should be under here only till this part only you can see something like this all right and for these also i'm going to add animation more entrance effects and this time i'm going to make it right okay sorry not this one i have to go to more motion path and i'm going to choose right click okay now this also right it should stop till here okay let me just select one more time and this should be here all right till here and this should happen with previous so let me just play so it comes something like this all right so now i'm going to select both of these effect options remove the smooth start and smooth end if you want you can make it somewhat bounce end and the timings you can make it fast and click ok so if i play it comes something like this and for this i am going to add a different animation so add animation i can go to the more entrance effects and i'm going to select stretch and click ok and this should happen also with previous so let me just play now so you can see here it comes something like this so if you want you can delay this one a little bit maybe 0.25 let's play so it's more delay happening so instead of 25 i can make it maybe 10 and play again so something like this so now it's very easy for me i'm going to select animation painter click on this and second one i'm going to click on this and then this is my belt part so now if i play it comes like this right so you can do the same animation for the rest of the options